Look carefully at the bottom of your screen. What you see is a 1,200-pound barrel containing two people tumbling over the Canadian side of the falls. It took several people and years to plan the stunt, but its mission was accomplished in mere seconds. Rescue workers, dwarfed by nature's thundering roar and mist, worked frantically to free 33-year-old Steve Trotter and his companion, 28-year-old Lori Martin. The barrel was uh, in, a, in a, an area where they were trapped in the barrel. The barrel wasn't going to float down the river, and it wasn't, there was no, nothing, we had to get them out. There was no other way to do it. They don't have any air left. Time was running out for the people inside the barrel. The pair were equipped with oxygen that would give them enough air for not much longer than an hour. Every minute counted. We secured the barrel to shore, then the fire department and I managed to pull, along with Officer Davis, pull the barrel. So the one end was, was reachable. We then, uh, then went out on a, leaned out on a rock and undid the hatch, got a line in to Steve Trotter, and uh, pulled him out, and then we got the line back in and pulled his girlfriend out onto the rock. Trotter and his companion were greeted with cheers as they were whisked away to an area hospital. Neither were seriously hurt. Would you do it again, Steve? No, I won't be back here anymore. This is the second time in 10 years that Steve Trotter has gone over Niagara Falls and survived. But he says he made history today. He says for the first time, a man and woman went over together and lived to tell about it. I just wanted to do one thing that no man has ever done before. Take a woman. First woman to ever go since 19, 1901. Lori Martin enjoyed her once-in-a-lifetime claim to fame. Oh, have it again? No, never. Why? <laughs> once is enough. What was going through your mind when you went down there? Just let us get out. <laughs> but there were some who were clearly not amused with the stunt. It upsets me to see these people who rescue, who, whose job it is to rescue these people, put their, cell, their lives in danger to rescue these people for a foolish stunt that really serves no purpose. Well, it would have been a sad state of affairs if I would have got killed on Father's Day. Let's yeah, put it that right. way. Mary Murray, Niagara Falls, Canada. Bye. Hello and welcome to Extra. I'm Maureen O'Boyle in for Arthel Neville. I'm Dave Nemeth. Hi, everybody. He is the new Evil Knievel. No stunt is too dangerous for Steve Trotter. This weekend, the daredevil had crowds cheering as he took on the raging waters of Niagara Falls and won. It flows with an awesome force and crashes onto a deadly combination of jagged rocks and raging white water. Fourteen daredevils have taken the plunge over Niagara Falls. Only ten have survived. 33-year-old Steve Trotter has made it twice, this time with a female partner. Rescuers risked their lives to pull the half-ton crash capsule out from the rocks. Now, Trotter and friend face a fine and possible jail time. But this morning, the team that helped plan the stunt celebrated their death-defying feat. He wanted to be the only man to bring a girl over for the very first time, and he did it. Trotter's father says he's used to his son's crazy stunts and actually watched as he took the plunge. He's gone over once before, and I'm so happy for him. He's a hell of a good guy. Right. And he's full of pet, pet things and bigger, just like me. As a lifelong thrill seeker, Trotter could be the next daredevil extraordinaire. An evil Knievel for the 90s. Knievel broke 40 bones in his daring career, and that's a medical record that concerns Trotter's brother, Dan. Right. His knee is very swelled up. His back is killing him. He's just miserable. But the daredevil's dad is already planning his son's next heart-stopping feat. I I'd like to get him married. <laughs> <laughs> well, you would think that would be safe enough. By the way, it appears that this time of year is very popular for stunts at Niagara. Back in June of 1859, a French acrobat named Blondin crossed the falls on a tightrope. Prosecutor.